Hello guys, you are welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so today I want to introduce you to a very special action that we'll be using in this tutorial, such an amazing action that just allows you to retouch your picture from almost beginning till the end with just one click. Just one click and you are good to go. It does literally everything you would want to do on your image when it comes to skin retouching. Yeah, when it comes to, you know, the things that frequency separation does for you, this one-click action takes care of it for you. And I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use it in this particular video. You are going to love it seriously. All right, so as I will see your time, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cropping my image like this. So I'm going to be cropping it 4x5 or 8 by 10 You can decide to close it up in a little, but I want it like this. So I'm going to press OK. Yeah, so... The next thing I will do is quickly prepare my image for retouching. And to do that, I'm going to take care of the blemishes. So I'm just going to go to my black and whites over here. And just darken the tones just a little. Yeah, maybe open this one up a little. Just to see where my blemishes are. Just to see where my blemishes are. Okay, so having done that, I think that's faster. So I'm going to pick up my... Alright, so I guess my workspace is a little messed up right now. I can't find my tool. So to fix this whole stuff up, in case you encounter such an issue, let's see. All right, so you are going to go just right here and reset your work tools. So I'm going to just pick up my, maybe my photography. I'm going to pick up what photography works for. So I'm going to get all my tools back. Then I'll pick my spot healing brush tool. Then if you are missing on anyone, you can go to Windows and get your layers back. You can go to Windows and get your layers back. So I'm going to duplicate this and pick up my spot healing brush tool. And I'm going to start taking care of the blemish. Just the ones you can fix ASAP. Just one dab and it's gone. A dab, it's gone. Like that. Just a few blemishes here and there. That you need to fix like this. You, can, you don't want this, you can as well take care of that. Yeah, this was over here. See, this was over here. So remember, what we are doing is preparing the image for retouching. Yeah, we are preparing the image for retouching. The same thing you would have done. You are using a frequency separation. Okay, so just go around to check if there is any other thing you feel you want to take care of. Okay, so I think I'm done. Done. This will work. So having done that, I'm going to delete my black and white layer. Delete it and flatten this up, not to make the whole layers complicated. So the next thing I want to do is to match a skin tone. So if you look at the image properly, you're going to notice that the face, the neck, the hand is slightly different in colors. So it's going to look weird at the end of the day. So to quickly fix that, I'll just go to my gradient map. You can as well use your solid color to do this, but I want to get depth and shadows properly maintained. So to do that, I'm going to go to my gradient map. Then make sure you minimize this and stay on the gradient map layer. Logo rather. Open this up. So take your, your picker tool, double click on the highlight. This is the shadow. Double click on any of them, maybe the highlight. Then I'm going to pick the brightest part of the image. Make sure you copy the brightness number. Copy the brightness number. Press OK. Then paste it in your location. Do the same thing for the shadow. Yeah, so I'm just going to pick up the darkest part of the skin tone. So I think here, so pick up the color of your, the, the number of your brightness rather. Paste it in your location one more time. Then create one more in the center and pick somewhere that you can call a mid tone, maybe the hand. The hand will be a good place. Then press OK, copy, press OK and paste in your location. Press OK. So now we have our skin tone in gradient mapping. Then we're going to change the blend mode to color, color, or even soft light. Just as soft light is, is going to make things too dark. So I'm going to use color since we are looking for a uniform skin tone. So to just map it on her skin, we wouldn't go through a whole lot of process of using brush and all of that. We we'll just use color range and she'll be able to get the job done for us. So just pick the, the rest of the areas that are not properly selected. You can decrease the fuzziness. And decrease the fuzziness or increase it. So look at the forehead over there. So I think this is picking a lot of my background for me. So I'm going to minus the background as well. 
like that. That's the background. Okay, so pick up your plus again and maintain the skin. Yeah, like that. So having done it like this, it will be easier for you to now just refine it with your brushes. It will be easier for you to refine it with your brushes. So I'm just going to pick up my brush, paint into this area like this, paint it to this area like this. So just check for the areas that the uh, color range didn't pick very well. So I do not want it on the leaves. I do not want it on the leaves. So I'm going to remove it there. Okay, so I think I'm cool. Okay, somewhere around the neck, missed this part. Yeah, I like that. Remove it from the jewelry. You wouldn't want it on that. Okay. So, check. Okay, so obviously we are going to reduce the capacity somewhere around 50. 50 will be a good place to stay. Okay, so we we'll now have a uniform skin tone properly even out. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do. You may not do it. You may not do it. It's because of the peculiarity of the image we are using. That's why I'm taking my time to fix all of this. But the action, I promise you, is going to work in seconds. All right, so I need to fix the teeth. So I'm just going to go to my hair and saturation, take up my picker tool, and probably pick a place in the teeth. So the teeth should be somewhere in the yellows. don't know why it's picking up the reds. So let me just go and take the yellows down. Yeah, take the yellows down, then probably brighten it up like that. Nice. So the next thing I'll do is to invert the selection like this. Then take your brush and paint into your teeth. And you have a very clean white teeth. Yeah, beautiful. All right, so we'll have our, our teeth properly cleaned up. Okay, so now let's get into the action properly. So if you cannot find action panel, just go to Windows and locate your action. The shortcut is actually alternate F9, just like that, and it's loaded up. So I'll just drag it and put it over here for organization purpose. Or rather, let's pull this one down since I wouldn't be needing a lot of space for that. Then I have this one up here. Okay, so if you don't want to go through all this that I'm going through, this is a quick way you can just go. Go to Reset, Reset Photography. Okay, so I'm using Graphics and Web. So go to Reset Graphics and Web. It's going to rearrange everything for you. You can now load up your action on inside here. Okay, so when you load up your action, you should now stack it in here. So everything becomes organized like that. So those go down. All right, so this is the action we are using right here. So I'm just going to click on play. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to click on play and wait for it to do its match. Bam. All right, so this is the results isn't this amazing okay so this is before this is after this is before this is after this is before this is after man okay let me just take a snapshot so we can look at both of them side by side we can look at both of them side by side oh can actually move all right so let's just take a snapshot from our history windows history all right so take a snapshot of the retouched let me flatten this. Take a snapshot. Okay, so we'll have the snapshot over here. So let me zoom in on the image now. So this is the image. This is before. This is after. Quickly, before, after. Isn't that amazing? Look at the details. Look at the way it's maintaining every single thing for you. Okay, so remember, this is a one-click action. It does the whole work for you. It does the whole work for you. I wanted to, to check something. I've not checked this before. So I wanted to see if I duplicate the folder into two, if it's going to replicate the action. It didn't. So if you, if you think the effect is not so strong for you, you can go and run the action one more time on your image and it's going to come out better. So looking at it right now, I think I'll be needing just a little color on her skin. So I'll just quickly go to my solid color ASAP. Just go to my solid color of something warm maybe even use our skin tone here somewhere around there change the blend mode to soft light or even color or hard light for anyone you feel that will be working for you so i'm just going to stick soft light then minimize this let's go and create a skin tone here like that then replace the mask with that and now use your brush to refine use your brush to refine so this is a very quick way to retouch your skin. 
to color grade your image is a is a color grading hack that i just decided to give out to you for free in this particular one so just quickly go around your image and make sure that your mask is properly done so you can of course reduce it if you feel it's too much you can go straight into solid color and maybe increase the brightness if you feel this uh, color grading is too dark for you so yeah like that place it up a little so this is before this is after this is before this is after so i think it's a bit too strong so i need to all right so we're going to reduce the brightness a little the skin tone is too bright so just drop it down a little yeah like that nice okay so we have our skin tone color graded. so this is before this is after before after so let's look at the overall image when we started so i think i'm going to take one more snapshot so it's going to give us a good result okay so this is the image when we came into photoshop this is the image after retouching this is the image after color grading in just three clicks you have your job done so the first one is prepare your images the second one is apply your action your own click action and your retouching is done and the last one is color grade your image and you have a perfect image thank you for watching this amazing video do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and please do not forget to ring the bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video see you on the next one